Remember, in solving a system of linear equations, we convert everything into augmented matrix, then we write it in row echelon form or reduced row echelon form. So matrices are super important for us. Let's talk about the properties of matrices for a bit. First of all, when we are representing a matrix, you can use different ways. You can use capital letters like A, B, C, D, or so on, or you can use an enclosed brackets and just write down the general form of an entry like A sub I and J, B sub I and J, or C sub I and J. Or basically you can list the matrix with all of its entries, A sub one and one, A sub two and one, which all represents the entries on each row and column. Note that in our class, we're going to work with real numbers, real values. The field that you're working with are field of real numbers. You might be interested in seeing a matrix in non-real form. This matrix, which has entries i, 1 minus i, 1 and negative i, are in the field of complex numbers r or c. But again, in our class, our focus is on real numbers. We definitely have matrices in different fields, but our class is going to be focused on real numbers. Very good. You saw tons of different matrices in this class before. Here you have a matrix, a two by two matrix. Here you have a two by three matrix. You have a two by one matrix, which is basically a column matrix. And here you have one row and two columns, one by two matrix. So this is a row matrix, and it's an example of a column matrix. We can also use maps functions to define matrices. This is going to be discussed in other chapters. Consider a map like A, mapping the Cartesian product between two sets, one and two, one and two, and map it to R, real numbers. What it's going to do is going to take two and two and map it to four. It's going to map two and one to one. It's going to map one and two to three, and it's going to map one and one to two. You're basically defining a matrix this way. Again, we're going to discuss this later in our class. Now we say that two matrices are equal to each other if and only if they have the same size and this, the same corresponding entries. Take a look at this example here. Which two matrices are equal to each other? It's a common mistake for students that saying that, hey, a column matrix is equal to a row matrix. These two matrices are not equal to each other. Why is that? Because this guy has two rows and one column. But this guy has one row and two columns. So basically, they are not on the same, the same size. So they are not equal to each other. The only two matrices are equal to each other are matrix A and also matrix C. 